so guys uh, you will come to know in this video what is uh, abrasive actually we will discuss and uh, if i can i can tell you abrasive and their important of the abrasive and uh, artificial artificial abrasive and their example like the silicon carbide and we have the aluminum oxide and diamond and cube all these you will come to know with me and uh, i will tell you each and everything so that now let's move on the uh, next topic that uh, uh, we, we will discuss with you you can see here the abrasive i can tell you because this is the abrasive and these are the uh, devices that we use this is the abrasive example this is an sand paper like a uh, wari paper we say in and this is a stone that uh, used to uh, sharpen your uh, like a knife or the other uh, weapon to for cut so that we are the abrasive if I, I can tell you let's move on example what is the abrasive machining abrasive machining if i tell i can tell you the abrasive machine is nothing but it it is what it's abrasive machine is a material removal process that involve intrication of the abrasive grit with a workpiece at a high cutting speed and shallow penetration so guys uh, so it's nothing but it's what if i can i can i can tell you that uh, abrasive is nothing but it's a removal cutting process so when what if what if we are doing here like this is our abrasive device so it is the function of basically if i tell i can tell you it remove the material from this surface like this is a steer and this is also example of the uh, abrasive and uh, machining and we do and we sharp our knife or different uh, also example of the, the uh, abrasive so the function main function of abrasive is nothing but the remover uh, process that intrication of the abrasive grit so you can see these are the abrasive grit if i can i can uh, tell you that these are the abrasive grit oh in this way and that can and with a workpiece workpiece is what here if i show i can show you this is our uh, workpiece uh, where i can tell you this is a workpiece that work has been done on that like this is a, a, a surface that is to be furnished that the material is to be removed from this surface and at the high cutting speed so speed very depend upon job like this speed and it has a shallow penetration shallow penetration is mean what it is a depth cut that you can see here on that and category that we see so let's move on and uh, next uh, next thing tips that are formed resemble those formed by the other after machining process so when you are removing material what will happen actually material and the chips are forms like this is a, you can example of and these chips you can see different here so abrasive machine involved in material removal by the action of the hard and abrasive particle actually this is what that i give you example like the use of abrasive uh, abrasive to sharp uh, parts and is prob probably to all this a material removal process so this is a removal process that use in use mostly in the old uh, old and by old people or old area like this is a one of the abrasive stone our knife is to be sharpened from this side so these uh, example are these are more related to information about the uh, abrasive so let's move on next slides so they are important because now if i tell i can tell you that what are the important of these and they, they can they can be used on all type of the material so this is the property that abrasive material when you want remove material so you can use the abrasive device for all type of the material and reading from the soft metal you have the softer metal or you have the harder material like a steel and that can also be abrasive or and the non metal material like a ceramics and silicon so this is the property of the abrasive material that you can uh, use in the soft material you in hard steel and as well as in the, the ceramics like a silicon and ceramic so this is the property it make the, the special in the like an abrasive in the, the removal he, removal uh, material process it extremely fine surface finish and point zero two five and that it work on that surface and finish point zero two five point five and this is in that level and for uh, for example if i tell the stones was used by the asian people to sharpen tool and weapon so as i give it to you told that the people different stone they, they were they were to sharp that tool like a knife like another instrument they were using to the shape and by the people of the East, in the asian people are the old area if if we if i can tell i can tell you more about the grinding wheels were cut from the slab of the stone slab is stone like these were this type of a slope slabs like that i told you but because they were not uniform so this is a this is a and the shortcoming this is um, one lake of the in the, the natural abrasive that the, because they were not uniform throughout and they were uneven and did not produce cons consistent result 
so so this is a leg this is i think this is advantage of the natural abrasive that because they were not uniform like and we have the synthesis abrasive and that by use like if if you see you can see so different people like this is also abrasive because it's also uh, remove uh, remove a material from in that and surface and work piece and this is also you see the uh, the pressure and the removing the material and this is also an example of the you can see the an electric and they are removing the uh, material from and the surface so these are the example that uh, that that you can see here and today the natural abrasive that is the commercially a uh, commercially important because you have to see the curves and the, you have the sand sand paper like i told you and garnet and diamond so these are the natural abrasive that is usually use in most of in in nowadays in in that area so so let's move on next and what is artificial abrasive if i i can tell you because as i told you the natural abrasive that they have do not any especially uniform structure though they were uneven so if these property will be covered in artificial uh, abrasive like uh, uh, artificial abrasive you see this very smooth surface you can see here so you can uh, remove a material in the, the smooth and even and uniform and process like this so what are the basically development of the artificial abrasive having known uniform property has been transmitted to abrasive process and become precision manufacturing you know, this is what requiring any manufacturing and we are getting in the, the and what I what type of in artificial and abrasive so following our example of the artificial abrasive so if I can I can tell you that the example of the uh, artificial abrasive so you know now why we are using the artificial abrasive as compared to the natural abrasive so these are the uh, three example uh, artificial uh, abrasive like we have and the carbon um, carbide ASI silicon carbide if I can uh, let's uh, so silicon carbide is uh, made of the charging and electric furnace with a silicon sand pentulum coke salt and sand sand dust basically these are not natural these are senses these are made on requirement so and so because you can see this is a material this is a silicon carbide and you because different mixture are, are there so these are called artificial and next example the aluminum oxide al2o3 aluminum oxide is the most widely used artificial abrasive also in also produced in arc furnace and bq oxide iron uh, iron filling and a small amount of the coke it contain aluminum hydroxide ferric oxide silica and other impurities so these are aluminum oxide these are the artificial uh, abrasive these are also used all have the same function but the variation because quality quality varies one abrasive another abrasive there is a difference between natural abrasive and artificial abrasive and so uh, let's move on and next thing slide so last one is that we have the diamond diamond play significant role here and the diamond uh, if i can so diamond diamond if i can i can tell you the diamond are the hardest material in this world so these are what these are the hardest material in this world and those that are used for abrasive either natural so they can also mean diamond is a natural also can use we can use diamond as a as a uh, abrasive material after color stone like i have the garnets that are not uh, suitable for the and uh, not for the gems or small senses stone that are produced specials guys from the all example of the that uh, artificial take the artificial abrasive and the important and we learned also that what is abrasive machining and the example that i should try to show to you and uh, so this was the first topic i will also come to the next video and we will come to know the what are the abrasive machine process in next video like uh, hoping super and finishing and lapping so these will come will be covered in the next part two video thanks a lot